people are to, uh, to distract me. And then, apart from distracted, the people are oppressed because of the, of the modern slavery. We, we buy our food from the market. We have to go to work to be able to pay for the bills, or electric bill, the services. Just by the services, the kids, the, that education they're getting in school is just reinforcing this collapsed system. It's socialization. Yes. So, what you can do, what, what I've been suggesting now is research, training, and innovation centers for ecological restoration. So there are two main goals. Some groups are starting eco-villages and lots of permaculture all over the world is happening. But really the society doesn't necessarily care whether this eco village succeeds or fails or you know how whether you can feed yourself with permaculture or not i mean they, they no one cares because that's only of interest to the community that's doing it mm. so if the communities have a larger societal goal besides certainly they have to take care of their children and they have to feed themselves and they have to you know whatever they have to do, but if they have a higher goal, a larger goal, and this goal should be, I think, mitigating and adapting to climate change. Because if we look at what's going to happen, the scientific implications of, of climate change are quite severe. So if we pass certain, certain criteria, certain um, parameters, then we will have predictable catastrophic outcomes, hmm. including potentially the extinction of humanity. So that's, that's like a, a, good, <laughs> a good reason, a good rationale to make you do something differently. So if, you're, if societal behavior is causing the atmosphere and the climate to change, might be a good reason to reevaluate and figure out what's wrong. So, you know, that is something that everyone on the planet could agree about if they understood it in the same way, if they reached a consensus on this. The issue is that people don't want to know. Yeah, but if our, now, just be careful. If our goal is to look for every reason why it won't work and that we can't change, then you're on the right track. But if our goal is to actually have a transformational change of human society and ensure that our children and future generations will survive and thrive, then you don't want to spend any time thinking about the reasons why it won't work. You want to think about all the reasons why it will work and put all your energy there. Because that's positive energy. Whereas this is reinforcing the negative aspects that exist in the society. So, just, just a warning. A little, I'm 60, so now I'm old. I can, I can tell you this. It seems like the, the sustainable um, <clears throat> villages of sorts, it seems like although they're supporting each other, only themselves in, in life, it seems like they're acting as as functioning models of of a new paradigm essentially you know what i mean and, and they have to be successful in order to be able to be reproduced but that's how i feel i feel it's absolutely necessary to have functioning models that can therefore be reproduced and then have centers to where that can be taught and, and people can come seek education i believe it's, it's both is important but i believe without the experimental phase and so that's either going to have to the experimental phase is going to have to happen through um independent parties um doing it for their own survival and, and uh, fruition, or potentially um, through governments realizing that it's important to pursue these alternative methodologies and, um, and f actually financially supporting um, small um, conscious um, cities or communities to actually to form. And then once those models are deemed successful, and I want to do it as scientifically as possible, I want to test everything, you know, test the, um, the, the um, effects on the air on the on the health of the people i believe it's a um i think it's a whole um essentially a lifestyle adjustment i mean um we can change our environment but 
I think physiologically, once we start eating more organic produce and things of this nature, then our physiology is going to readapt to, to a more um, healthful uh, state because right now everything's um, compromised. The health, the food, everything going into your body is, 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 is um, affecting your physiology. So I think it's a spiritual uh, 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 crisis we're in as well. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely.